Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and by the great space dragon, is this year moving at a rapid rate? It's already March of 2017, and for me at least, 2017 is going really, really well. Most notably, I finally got, after all this bloody time, some new glasses. Essentially, I require a very, very strong prescription. The strongest that they actually make, believe it or not. Uh, so glasses are not cheap, to say the least, but I finally have some, and I went with a new frame style. Essentially, I always had the very thin frames, uh, but these are much more uh, thicker, and the lenses are a lot wider, which I actually like. Uh, but this was the absolute highest prescription that they actually make. In fact, these lenses had to be made by Seiko in Finland. So, yeah, I definitely have very, very bad eyesight. Eventually, I gotta get me some uh, LASIK eye surgery, but... That ain't cheap either. I looked at it. If ever you're looking for LASIK eye surgery, expect to pay a lot of money. At the very least, it's going to be $1,000 per eye, and that's actually when it's fairly inexpensive, so something to keep in mind. Uh, also on the improvement front, we have the computer. It is going to be, as of this week, fully upgraded, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the new RX 480 graphics card. I'm still using PC Gamer by default's donated motherboard and processor just because it works really, really well, and I can't imagine replacing it anytime soon. But I've also expanded the RAM to 16 gigabytes. I've added uh, another 2 terabyte blue to uh, hold all that video footage because it does take up a lot of space. And I also am adding a new CPU cooler because I finally figured out what was causing all of that bloody, uh, wasn't frame skipping, it was where the game would freeze for a little bit. Uh, that's most notably seen in my Let's Plays. It will just do that sometimes. And I could never figure out what it was. But as it would turn out, the CPU cooler I have on there right now uh, just simply was not keeping this processor cool enough and it would shut itself down so it wouldn't cook itself to death. So now I've got a new CPU cooler coming in as of this week, and once it comes in, I'll get back to doing all the Let's Plays and things of that nature. Uh, let's see, anything else of interest that is new other than my epic new glasses? Now, this is a whole new style, you know, if you guys don't like it, well, tough, because these ain't cheap and I can replace them anytime soon. Uh, I'm also going to be wearing them all the time in the uh, videos again. Just because it's a million times easier for me to see the screen with, with, with having glasses on, and I liked the whole non-glasses thing, but this just, it, it's, it's so much easier. Uh, so yeah, PC upgraded, got new glasses, awesome. So, as of March, what are we going to be getting in terms of videos? Well, as of this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be getting a review of the Smith & Wesson m and 40 I wanted to talk about this particular pistol for a while, and I finally was able to record some footage at the range using a new technique. Now, since it's a pistol, it's actually very easy to do this. Essentially, I set up a little first-person camera kind of thing. And it looks really cool, I have to say. So we can be seeing that this week. Uh, for the rest of this month, we're going to be looking at some mascot games. Uh, as of next week, we're going to see Alex Kidd in Miracle World. Uh, then we're going to see Donkey Kong Country. And then last but certainly not least, Crash Bandicoot. Now, depending on how much time I have and how uh, motivated I feel, I might try to squeeze in one more review, just one, because there's a mascot game that I uh, was able to rediscover. And it's a fairly obscure SNES game, but I really want to talk about it because I remember playing it way, way back in the day. I never owned it, but it was a great deal of fun, and it's definitely one that no one on the Internet has really talked about yet. As for April, that's when I'm planning on doing the Dark Shooter Month, where I will review uh, Prey, finally, Quake 4, finally, Doom 3 Resurrection of Evil, finally, and also, finally, Return to Castle Wolfenstein. Now, there is a Return to Castle Wolfenstein review on CGR Undertow, assuming that channel is still up. So you can see, you know, a, a quick little review of it on there. But I'm going to be doing the full, you know, probably 10-15 minute review. Uh, Sonic Adventure, last month in February, turned out pretty good. I really enjoyed working on it, but by the great Yzmir, did that take a long bloody time to do. And you know what's crazy? That was uh, my attempt at creating an original General Ott-styled review. Now, of course, I had the modern General Ott's mindset, but the way the review was set up was like the old reviews used to be back, like in 2009, 2010, where I would talk about the previous games and where I would go through just about every element of the game. 
And I used to do that all the time for every single game review. That's how it used to be. And I can't imagine, I used to do those, you know, in like a week back in the day. Now it took me almost a month to do. It's just, it's interesting to see that. And you know what's also somewhat interesting? I've read in a few places that uh, longer than 10 minute YouTube reviews don't do very well, but every one of my really popular reviews are over 10 minutes. They're usually the 20, over 20 minutes in some respects. Uh, Predator to Concrete Jungle is, uh, is probably one of my most uh, highly viewed videos, and I believe that is somewhere around 27 minutes long. And what's interesting about uh, Predator to Concrete Jungle is the fact that it's actually a re-upload, because I had taken down the original years and years ago and re-edited it because it... What's funny is I think that review actually talked about a Predator month that I canceled during the middle of it. The only video that got done was Predator Concrete Jungle because I'd originally intended to do Predators and then uh, Predator Concrete Jungle. Yeah, Predator Concrete Jungle, the comic, but I just didn't do it because I didn't... I had actually gotten the Predators review done and was editing. I was like, no, this is literally just me regurgitating what's happening in the movie, so canceled. But yeah, Predator Concrete Jungle is a very good game, and I'm very happy that it's as popular as it is because Predator Concrete Jungle just really kind of got the shite end of the stick, so to speak, because, you know, invisible pimps and hookers, you know, there, there, there weren't any invisible pimps, and, and, and the hookers were also quite visible as well, and they were at a completely different level from anyone that was actually invisible. Uh, so, yes. Uh, after Dark Shooter Month, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to be doing. There's still plenty of games for me to review. Eventually, I'm going to try to get back to the movie reviews, and for a quick little movie review, Lego Batman. I saw that uh, a few days ago, actually. I found it to be pretty good. Uh, it really celebrated what Batman was and is. The only problem is I felt some of the plots, the, the subplots, just weren't quite as good as they could be. The whole Batman going crazy that you know, about the Joker turning himself into Arkham Asylum and, and he has to put him in the Phantom Zone. It's like, that seems really contrived. I think they could have had it where Batman's just trying to find relevance in a world without villains. I think that would have been a little more, I guess maybe not a little more entertaining, just been a little more, I don't know, genuine in some respects. I felt the whole, you know, relationship between the bat, between Batman and the Joker, it's like, I hate you. It's like, oh, it, that, I don't think that was really needed. That seemed really stupid to me, especially if you're a longtime bat fan, bat, bat fan, Batman fan, such as myself. You know, it's like, would Batman really say that? I'm just not really sure. But other than that, it was a good movie. Uh, I really did enjoy just the homages to the pe previous Batman films. I like the fact that Alfred was dressed up as uh, Batman 60s, calling himself Mr. 60s. I thought that was really, really cool. I, I, I really approve of that. Uh, let's see. So, I was going to talk a little bit about the current political climate, but I decided I'm not going to because that's really depressing. Although I will show solidarity with John Tron for speaking out against all the insanity going on. That was truly heroic. Wearing a pink hat is not, ladies and gentlemen. But other than that, you know, we'll survive it. You know, it's easy to say that this era is scary or this era is interesting anyway, but if you really study history, this era is about as safe as you could imagine. Because keep, keep in mind, keep in mind. Keep this in mind, ladies and gentlemen. This isn't World War II. This isn't the 1930s, okay? So, if you think it's bad, just study up on what was going in the 1930s around the world and thank the great Yzmir that you didn't live back then because those were truly interesting times. And with that, I am General Lutz, and I'm going to wish you good Crash Bandicoot and good uh, Sonic Adventure 2, or whatever, makes you happy.